Hello, hello, welcome. Today we're talking about hands. So I've got an exciting lineup of examples for you today. I'm going to talk to you about the hands in English. So I have three expressions and phrasal verbs that I want to talk to you about at the moment using the word hand or hands. So let's go ahead and take a look at those. Doesn't that sound nice? Just with one word, you can communicate several ideas. That's got to be refreshing. Remember, we're trying to simplify the language here, not make it more complicated. So let's go ahead and look at the phrasal verbs first because phrasal verbs are the verbs in English that everyone loves to hate. So we can use a hand, the noun a hand, pretty obvious, but we can also use hand as a verb and the verb is to hand. So usually it's to hand someone something and it simply means to give. To hand someone something is to give someone something. For example, hey, can you hand me that pen over there? That pen over there, can you hand me that pen over there? Or, while you're up, uh, can you hand me the remote? I want to change the channel, the remote control. So if you could just hand me the remote control, that would be very nice. Now we'll look at a few phrasal verbs we use with this word hand. So one of them is to hand in something. So when you hand in something, it's like you're turning in something or you're submitting something. Uh, you hear this a lot in school. A lot of times the teacher will tell you to hand in your assignment, right? So teachers usually will not tell you to submit your homework. They will tell you to hand in your homework. And this just means to submit it or to turn it in to the teacher. So for example, if you don't hand in your homework at the beginning of class tomorrow, you will fail the assignment. Or if you are quitting your job, you might make this statement. Today is the day that I hand in my resignation. Another phrasal verb that we have with hand in it is to hand down. So to hand down is a little bit tricky, but it usually means to pass something on to another generation or from an older person to a younger person. For example, my computer was handed down to me from my brother. So the computer that I use right now was actually handed down to me from my brother. It used to be his, now I'm using it. Or another example, when my dad retired, he handed his business down to my sister. For example, this coin was handed down to me from my great-grandfather. It's been in the family forever. Another cool note is that when you get close from your older siblings because they outgrew them, we call those hand-me-downs, right? So, for example, this shirt that I'm wearing is a hand-me-down. I got it from my brother. Or I had to wear a lot of pink t-shirts when I was a kid because I got all my sister's hand-me-downs. Also, you can use the phrase hands down to reinforce an argument. It's like saying without question or without further debate. So here's an example. Despacito is hands down the best song ever. And another example. The Matrix was hands down much more philosophical than people gave it credit for being. So you see the words hands down there are kind of saying there's no question about it. There's no room for debate here. In other words, keep your hands down. There is no room for discussion here. But I object. No, hands down. My argument's the only valid argument here. You have to hand in, to hand down. Now we're looking at to hand over, to hand over something. So this is another way to give someone something or to pass the responsibility to someone else. So let's look at a few examples. After Chris finished speaking, he handed the microphone over to Aaron. Can also mean to give something up, right? For example, my mom 
made me hand over my keys to the car because she took away my driving privileges for a week. Or you have, I handed over the business to my best friend once I was ready to retire. So I gave the responsibility of the business to my best friend once I was ready to retire. If someone owes you money and you are having trouble getting that person to pay you, you can say, come on, come on, hand over the money. Hand over the money. So those are three ways that you can use this word hand as verbs. You can use it to communicate a variety of ideas. So go out there, give it some practice. Listen for it in movies and songs and in the news. It's very common. We do that a lot in English. We use nouns and turn them into verbs or adjectives. I'll be discussing a few more hand verbs in the next video, so keep an eye out for that. If you learned something here, subscribe, share it with your friends, and we'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Keep practicing. Keep up the great work. If you ever have any questions, you can always contact me, English dot suelto at gmail.com or you can reach me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Reach out to me. Reach out to me. There's another phrasal verb. If you have any questions, contact me. Hit me up. And there's another phrasal verb for contact me. Hit me up if you have any questions. Now go get them. Go out there and speak that English.